This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by One Motions. In this After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to create an Instagram story animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. We will go over different methods and techniques throughout the complete video so make sure you watch the video till the end so you don't miss out on anything. I am Nikhil Pawar from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Now, before we start designing the complete animation, let's actually customize our workspace so that we can work more, much more efficiently. So to do that, I'm going to simply drag my main composition right over here. So I have a nice big comp so we can easily um, view the complete composition. I'm going to bring my effects and presets rack right here. All right, let's make this a bit small. So we have enough room for our timeline. It looks good. Then we can drag the layer panel. We don't need this, so we can close that up. We only need the effects and control panel. We have the character panel, the paragraph. We don't need the tracker. We don't need the content aware fill. We need the alignment tool. And yeah, this looks, uh, this looks pretty good and we are good. Maybe I'll drag the effects and preset panel right over here. So we have a bit more room for the timeline. Yeah, that looks much more comfortable. All right. So let's start by creating a new composition. Now, if you are creating this Instagram story for an Android device, if you're going to post this story through an Android device, then you should go with 1080 by 1920. But if you're using an iOS device, then you should go with 1125 with 2436 if I'm right. Yeah, that's the aspect ratio that you should go with. And then I'll call this render as our main render comp 30 frames and 10 seconds long. You can also go with 20 if you want to. Let's create a new composition, which is going to be our image placeholder. I'm going to call this media. Let's change the width and height to 1500 by 1500. Hit OK. And then I'm going to drag and drop in the image that I have right here. Let's scale this down a bit. And I'm going to place it something like that. Maybe let's add a little bit of sharpen on this so we can go into effects and preset. Type in sharpen. Let's drag and drop this. Let's go with 25. All right. Then let's go back to our main render comp. Let's start with the designing process. So I'm going to select the ellipse tool. All right. Let's. Um, create a perfect circle by holding control and shift at the same time just like that so we have a circle like so and then we can rename this to pg as this is going to be our background going to effects and preset type in fill double click to apply that up and let's go with a nice color for this so i'll go with something like uh, something like this one looks good all right now let's select the text tool and then i'm going to type in an alphabet you can of course go with any alphabet that you want i'm going to go with an s so maybe if you have a company that which name starts from maybe a or r you can use that alphabets as well so here we have an s for the font i will be using roboto roboto black and to Place the anchor point into the center. As you can see, the anchor point is not into the center. I'm going to hold control and double click on the pan behind tool. So it's going to fix this. And let's increase the size of this all the way up, actually. And I'm going to maybe scale this up even more. Also, again, I'm going to switch this. So that is looking good. I can turn off the snapping if I want to. I'm going to rotate this a little bit by around 10 degrees. I believe that looks good. All right. And then I'm going to drag in my media below this. Let's place it right over here. And let's hit F4 and change the track mat to alpha mat. So we have this image getting revealed through our alphabet or a shape. Then I'm going to select the S, hit Control D, 
this is going to be for our background i'm going to pull this at the back let's hit s and scale this really high and big something like that and uh, for the color i can just copy paste the fill from here so hit ctrl c and hit ctrl v to paste it up let's change this to a lighter version a little, little bit and then i'm going to add a drop shadow now you can of course go into fix and preset and search for drop shadow the typical drop shadow that we use but I do not recommend using this drop shadow instead you can right click go into layer styles and use a drop shadow from here now the reason i use this one because we get a lot more properties and a lot control over the drop shadow so i can basically set the distance to zero i can increase the size really high i can bring down the opacity we even get blending modes for this so let's set this to around maybe 15 but the most importantly we get is we get this noise so i can add maybe three percent of noise and this will help us to get rid of any kind of color bendings if we get any so that is looking good maybe i'll set this to around 20. that looks good and for the color i'll pick with the same color because shadows does have a little bit of color in them and yeah it looks good as well so let's select this at control d to duplicate it so we have s3 let's call this s underscore line and let's call this s underscore shape so that we don't get mess up all right so here we have our line maybe i'll change this one to a lighter version and then i'm going to switch to strokes then let's set the stroke to around three Three looks good yeah you can see it looks pretty awesome and then i can get rid of the layer style so i can either hide it or simply just delete it so let's hide this for now and i'm gonna actually displace this a little bit i don't want to keep it very very accurate I mean, let's go with 2.5 i think that looks much better maybe i can just change the position and make it look even more cooler something like this that is looking good now let's go ahead and add in our text so i'm going to select my text tool and obviously everything is text here so i'm going to lock the text layers and let's type in our text so i'm going to type in make this smaller scale your business let's switch back to fill and i'm going to close this and let's set this to maybe a bold looks good let's set this to minus 20. that is looking better and can adjust the line spacing a bit let's bring that down a bit that looks much better i think the s can be a bit too bigger it's a bit too small for now so i'll go to 120 or something yeah let's add a description but before that let's add a small separation between our main heading text and the description so we can add a small shape like that i can call this line and also center the anchor point and then finally i can add my description so there we go i'm gonna place it right over here i'm using the roboto bold here let's make this around 30 pixels that looks good and yes let's move everything a bit low and also i'm gonna align them to the left like so a bit low let's move the s and the media as well somewhere around there looks good and you can also add a swipe up text here so in case if you want to add that or you can directly select from the gif section on your instagram as well now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor one motions one motion came up with this one click transition builder which is a modern transition pack integrated with ave tools extension for fast workflow with your projects in one single click this pack works with after effects and premiere pro via dynamic link and ave tools extension shows you live preview of the effects and make custom settings for speed and sound volume of your transition so you can level up your videos and save more time with one click transition builder for more information check out the link in the description below so now our design is ready now let's go ahead and start animating this so i'm gonna hide everything for now let's unlock this let's start from the background shape that we have so i'll go to around one second and um, maybe 15 frames or something 
so let's zoom in a bit so one second and 20 frames hit s to bring down the skill properties create a keyframe go back and set this to zero so we have a pretty simple animation and then from right here i'm gonna turn on the background s that we have select them select both the shapes hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe hit r to bring down the rotation create a keyframe hit u so we can see all the keyframes go back to around one second 20 frames let's rotate this a little bit and then let's move this position down so i can hold shift so that we can move a bit faster so there we have this animation now i can displace this a little bit so i'll move the shape by around 10 frames or displace them by around 10 frames so that we have first the line animation and then the shape appears like so pretty cool let's select all the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor and you can right click select edit speed graph i'm going to select all the points and drag them to the left like so so now we should have a much more interesting animation as you can see looks pretty awesome now i can move the keyframes a bit towards the one second mark so i can select all the keyframes of the s shape let's move them right here and yep that is looking much better or maybe i can increase this spacing a bit so that it looks a bit more smoother that is looking much better so far so good let's select the media composition and i'm gonna animate this so let's animate the s actually so i can parent the media to the s now if you don't see this parent option you can click right over here in the small area go into columns and turn on parent and link so let's animate the s now let's go to three seconds and create a keyframe on the s so i'm gonna select the s shape that we have hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe right here hit r create a keyframe on the rotation hit u so we can see the keyframes go to around two seconds and um, rotate this like around 23 or 24 degrees and let's bring that out of the position let's select this keyframe bring that out by bring that back at one second and 15 frames so we have this nice animation now let's animate the scaling of this image as well so i'll go right here select the media hit s create a keyframe on the scale and let's scale this up like so let's go back and um, scale this up by around 150 and now we have a little bit of scale animation as it animates in looks pretty awesome i can select the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor and again select the points and drag this to the left so we have this nice animation as you can see and there we go it's ready now we can animate our text so animating text is pretty simple i can select the text layer go into animate and let's add a position as well as a property of opacity bring down the position to around 100 and the opacity to zero let's go into the range selector i can go at around let's go at around um, three seconds let's set the uh, let's set the offset to minus 100 create a keyframe go to four second and let's go to five seconds actually and set this to 100 go into advanced properties let's set the shape to ramp up and ease low all the way up to 100 and ease high to around let's go with something like 30 percent so let's see what we get pretty awesome one thing that i need to change is the character so i'm going to set this from characters to words so we have animation for the words which looks pretty awesome now i can simply just copy this animator hit ctrl c and let's go at around somewhere around there and let's select the description hit ctrl v so first we have the main title animation and then the description for the description the only one thing i need to change is based on words from based on lines so it animates on the basis of lines which looks pretty awesome and the last thing is the animation of the stroke so i'll select the line here now 
if you can see the anchor point is not into the center so to move this i can select the pan behind tool and turn on the snapping snap this anchor point to the left like so and then animate the scale property of this so let's create a keyframe on the scale unlink this go back and set this to zero i can select the keyframe set f9 go into the graph and again pull this to the left so we have this nice animation pretty awesome now let's preview our complete animation as you can see it's looking pretty nice so we covered a various different techniques and effects in this complete tutorial so i hope you enjoyed it you can of course change the alphabet to anything that you want so if you want you can make it a fashion instagram story by simply changing the letters so i can set this to f i can use a different font if i want to i can even change this one to f as well and you know there are a lot of different possibilities using this particular design so you can simply change the alphabet and you can see the design looks quite different you can simply change the image as well you can obviously change the color so if i want i can go with a nice darker pink color something like that Control c and paste it on this one and let's make this a bit lighter let's copy paste it on the line as well and maybe make this one a bit more lighter and you can see we get a really nice look so all in all i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial on how to create an instagram story inside of after effects and if you enjoyed this video make sure you comment down below and let me know also if you're watching my video for the very first time make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow me on instagram at dope.motions i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out